imaginations of H.G. Wells and Buck Rogers never cooked up a more fantastic experience than the Army engineers at their laboratory in Belmar, New Jersey. Banks of instrument panels control a radar installation that gives man his first actual contact with the moon. An amazing round trip of over 477,000 miles. Ready to shoot the moon. The radar antenna is pointed directly at Luna, and the thrill of a lifetime is in the making. Three two and a half second trips up and back. If you're ready for another trip to the moon, let's go. Miami, 10 years after he bolted the American Federation of Labor to form the CIO, John L. Lewis comes back into the fold, bringing to William Green, president of the AFL, the 600,000 members of the United Mine Workers. It's big news on the labor front as big names in labor bury the hatchet. Following the resignation of General Charles de Gaulle, the French Assembly, representing the people, chooses a new provisional president. In the Chamber of Deputies, the formal notification of his election is presented to the new leader, Félix Gouin, who warned his country that it was in for a long, hard economic pull. A GI dream come true is this oil well in Skiatook, Oklahoma. Three and a half years of service in the Army delayed the plans of Virgil Greenwood to drill a wildcat well. But now he's found the proverbial pot at the rainbow's end. Greenwood got home from the wars just in time to keep his lease on the property and begin work. Drilling started late in 45 using homemade tools and a lot of good old American know-how. And now she's coming in by the borrowful. Yes, sirree, it's something to celebrate. 